Muna Makram Abed, a former senator and member of parliament in Egypt, and also still a distinguished professor and lecturer at the American University in Cairo. Um, Egypt has joined with Saudi Arabia in isolating Qatar. Why? Well, you see, Qatar has, has had a, a strange policy towards Egypt since President el-Sisi came to power. Before that, they were supporting the Morsi government, which was the, a catastrophe for Egypt, as you know. So this is the Muslim Brotherhood. The Muslim Brotherhood. And uh, it was un, un understandable, you, you know, <laughs> knowing that 30 million people came out Sisi had a popularity of 90%. Uh, when, and we asked him to come. I mean, this is not a military coup, as the West insists to say. It is a popular impeachment, if we speak in the American language. Because we could not stand uh, to have Egypt's identity uh, entirely changed. We did not want to have a theocracy. We did not want to have clerics imposing on us what we have to do, when we have to pray, what we have to wear, etc. Qatar is a very small country, a very small population. Most of the population, of course, is non-Qatari, non-, -Qatari, non, non uh, Absolutely. Is the real fear Al Jazeera? I think the fear is overblown. Uh, Al Jazeera also has taken a, a, a very strange uh, position because before that, Everybody looked at Al Jazeera, so did I, to get the real picture, objective, and of the whole world. Now it has uh, 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 persistently had a uh, negative uh, attitude towards the Egyptian government, and only showing you know, negative aspects, uh, not even showing the casualties that we suffer every day in Sinai, whether it is among the, the army, the police, the civilian, nothing about that. Everything is negative. So how do you think that this situation will be resolved? Not just the Al Jazeera, Al -Jazeera um, problem that Egypt has with uh, Qatar, but also the isolation in conjunction with Saudi Arabia. This is very you, dangerous, I think. First of all, because the GCC was one of the most successful uh, getting together of some countries. And, and we saw it, you know, as a model, a forward model to the European Union. You know, how we So do you think Saudi this. Arabia made a mistake? I th no, I think that both made a mistake. Because you are jeopardizing this unity, which was a model, after all, whether it was for the economy or a model of regional cooperation. This is what we're talking about. And there was no need for a, for a, a new crisis. We have enough crises in, in, in the Arab world today, and I don't think we can take another one. And they are today, um, you know, jeopardizing this whole thing. When the, you are asking me what should they do? They should sit at the table and discuss it and have a dialogue and get all their differences out. And I'm sure they will find some way of compromising. Well, we'll let us hope so. Muna Makramalbe, thank you so much. Thank you.